In this video, we're going to cover line spacing. Now, when I'm creating thumbnails for my YouTube videos, the text that I put on there, I like to be a little bit closer together than the automatic line spacing. So in this case here, we have Illustrator Alternative written out. Well, I would want the alternative to be a little closer to the word Illustrator. Now, if I press T for the type tool, basically all this is is typing one word, pressing return on my keyboard for a paragraph break, and then getting this uh, second word written out. So what I need to do is highlight all of this, and I'm going to open up the character panel. If you don't see it at all, you can go to Window, down to Character, and that's going to open up somewhere in your document here. In my case, it was docked right here on the right-hand side. Now, inside the character panel, we have a lot of different options. There just happens to be one right here called Letting, and setting the letting is also setting the line spacing. That's pretty cool here. We have Auto. So if you like auto, that's great. You can also select a point size. Usually if this says 35, then I should probably select something close to it if I want it to be a little bit tighter. So if I select 36, you can see alternative bumped up a little bit. The other cool thing here is when you highlight that text, you can actually use this icon right here, click and drag to drag that point size up and down, and you can see it being reflected in your document. So as a designer, I love this because this allows me to really feel where I want that to go and how close I want it to be to the other word. I would think somewhere right in there, so that ended up being 32. We call this 35 over 32, so 35 text or font size over 32 letting. If you resize the font here, so like if I were to take this and go to 48, the problem here is that the letting does not link with the size of the font. So a lot of times what I like to do is undo that. I like to get it to the spot that I like. Okay, these are as close as I like them, but maybe I want this font size to be larger. So that's when instead of resizing up here from the point size, I would instead grab that layer and then press Command or Control T to resize it and start to scale it up. You might have to hold Shift, just make sure it doesn't skew like this when you scale it up. And uh, some, I don't have to hold shift in this case. It kind of depends on your settings. So as we scale that up and down, it scales the entire text as is. So it does keep the size of the font and the letting proportional as you're scaling it up. And then you can move that around and do whatever you want with that text. Press the return key to commit that. So if you want to scale text up and down, don't just change the point size. You can actually transform that text block after you have set the letting. And that is how you can change line spacing here in Photoshop.